These are Lifelike Proto 2000 Series Northeast Steel Cabooses. Let's take a look and see if it's worth buying one, or some, for yourself. Hi, I'm HL Hobbyist and I am a model Reverter. Let's get started. When I placed the order for my Reading GP7, I realized I needed a caboose to run it with. So I shopped around first at actual train stores and then I decided to go on eBay. I was thinking of first buying another Bachman one like I have for Lehigh Valley, but I saw this three set and I couldn't pass up the deal. And I also got one caboose that was CNJ and I got two for Reading. So the nice thing is I have two different numbers on the Reading. So that's actually unique. I'm not sure when I'm going to use the CNJ, but hopefully it'll happen. So we're going to start off with the quick statistics. As I always do, I'm going to quick look at the packaging, and then we will go on to the actual unboxing. This is the first retro review that's had an actually unboxed product, because most of mine is, are used items. These are brand new. I'm unboxing the CNJ because I've used one or both of the Reading. I haven't been paying attention to which one, so I'm not sure if I've unboxed the other one. So, first thing off, the front, you've got the clear window, and you can see it in. It's center cupola seal caboose. Um, it was it's labeled on it. The place is northeastern steel. It's plastic factory assembled. Lots of detail. Goes on and brags about how it's perfect in replication. So it's lifelike. So basically doesn't exist anymore. Uh, we have some prototype history. If you're interested in that stuff. I'll probably start including that in reviews. And then you have this is CNJ91 So to unbox it, oop, bump the tripod again. You just slide this open. Sorry if the lighting's not good. I may have to invest in a. You know, I could probably use my other light, but I didn't. You have to take that off. Then you slide out this two piece tray. Very well friendly in there for the first time. So I slide out this two piece tray, put the box off to the side for now. Here's what you get. So first off, we're going to take off the top half the tray. This is the, not the same clear window. There was another clear window on top on the box. Then out comes the caboose herself. Itself. Not a locomotive. I don't know I called it here. Wow, that's free rolling. I'm going to take it off the track or it's going to roll off the desk. Then you have this, there is a piece of plastic there. And then finally the instructions and stuff. So in the paperwork, warranty. I don't think that's applicable anymore. Accessories order form, couplers. $10 for couplers. If only you could get that many couplers for $10. Exclusive offer to life life proto customers. A, a clock. That's pretty cool, actually. Unfortunately, left like doesn't exist anymore. And then, you have a full-size sheet of prototype history. That's actually nice, because a lot of manufacturers don't include that stuff. And, like, and the Proto 2000 stuff has always been really good about the prototype history, so that's cool. Now we're going to take a look at the detailing. First off, starting on the left here, we've got the ends, which I'll take a look at, and then you've got some grab irons here, and not much else. There's not a whole lot going on. I'm going to take a look. There's no interior on the inside. Oh, this is where this camera's not going to be as good. So when we zoom, is it going to be able to see? Yeah, you can see a little better. The trucks look pretty well detailed. There's not a whole lot going on, but they're pretty cool. They do look different than the Bachman trucks. 
Um, something stands out to me regarding the paint is that the top is brown, whereas honestly the redding is green. It's, uh, you'd think it would be red or white, but it's not. The paint is very good. It's not blocking out any of the rivet detail. And uh, the logo is very good. I don't think I've ever actually gotten a good look at the logo before. As is typical, the text is legible, even on camera. So that's nice. On the roof and the wave detail, you have a grab iron. Some more grab irons. These ones are not separate. These are molded on. And then another grab iron. Over here, you have the couplers. It's cool how they have another hose besides the one that's on the standard KD couplers. And then... Uh, there. You gotta get the lighting right. You've got the end. For detail on the end, you have a brake wheel and a ladder and the railing. And then there's grab irons and the door. The door appears that it would open. It usually does on Proto 2000 stuff. I'm not going to because my fear is that I wouldn't be able to close it. Underbody detail is the last major detail section. The trucks don't have very much, but there's this big piping block, which is all the brake and probably the heating for the people inside. And then it says lifelike made in China. Even when this was made, everything was in China. So, um, next thing we're going to do is give this a coupler test. Unfortunately, I'm not able to give it a actual height check with the gauge, because I don't know where that is. I went in my bin and it was missing. So if I can't find it, I will have to replace it. So I have here this nice old Nosset Railway, rail, railway Reefer. I honestly don't know if that's real or not. I got it at a club, and I figured I wanted to get a souvenir that has to actually do with what I saw. And I just converted it over to Katie's. So I'm not sure if they're at the right height or not. But these appear to be the same height. And it couples like just like that. So, in conclusion, I think these models are not bad at all. They have more detail than many other cabooses, particularly my Bachman ones. Um, I do like that they have windows and much separately applied detail. The handrails are relatively thick compared to what you can get for modern offerings, but I think that's fine. Um, so yeah, I recommend them if you can get a good deal on them, but, uh, it does have metal wheels, it doesn't have perfect couplers, um, uh, my concern would be more the longevity of the couplers, however, they work fine right now, and I've had, been using the Reading one since about August, and it's now January, and it's been working fine the whole time. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing for more train content. Can't say model train content anymore. Um, and I'll see you down the HL Hobbyist main line. Bye!